You see this award that's showing up on your screen? I'm going to share with you now the three pillars of being an excellent resident and doctor that made me receive this award. So my name is Randerson Cardozo. I'm a cardiologist in Boston, Massachusetts. And in this channel, in the Meta-Analysis Academy, we discuss how you can publish systematic reviews and meta-analysis independently on your own, how you can publish impactful research that can help your career. So if you're interested in this content, consider hitting the like and the subscribe button and stay tuned for the content in the Meta-Analysis Academy. First of all, you have to have absolute competence in taking care of your patients. Patients, your colleagues, your chiefs, your attendings, they depend on you to take good care of your patients. So if you're a clinician, you have to be a great clinician. If you are a surgeon, you have to be good in the operating room. That's just the basic and of course, uh, it won't necessarily make you stand out, but it's a very important component with the other two pillars. So number two is you have to be a good educator. You know, residencies will be done by very nature of residency in an academic place or at the very least in a place where people expect to learn and teach so do that you have to teach teach medical students residents interns teach your attendings teach your staff teach the nurses teach anyone around you that will give you a lot of respect in your community and will help you advance your career and number three if you really want to achieve high places high academic places especially in your career you have to do research and get high impact papers published and with these three pillars especially with the last one you will reach unimaginable places in your career. I say that because it happened to me. You know, I left a small town in Brazil, ultimately became a, a staff in one of the major hospitals and universities in the world. And this happened because I applied these three pillars and especially because I was able to get high impact papers published all throughout my career. And in fact, that's how I, I got this award that, that, that's actually called the Randerson Cardozo Award. It was because I applied successfully these three pillars, patient care, education, and especially research.